Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Shri Krishna and I'll be presenting our work self-supervised 2D3D registration for X-ray to CT image fusion. For interventional image fusion, you have a C-arm system with the patient lying on the table and you can achieve a live X-ray imaging. This provides us live 2D information. To enhance the information available, it is ideal to fuse the preoperative volume with the live 2D imaging. However, a naive fusion will not be accurate since the volume is not spatially aligned with the patient position. To achieve this, we, we need to perform 2D, 3D registration where we align the preoperative volume with the current patient position such that the overlay is has minimal misalignment. To learn the 2D, 3D registration task using supervised techniques, we need to have access to an X-ray image along with a preoperative CT volume of the same patient with ground truth registration in addition. Once we have access to such data, we can render a DRR from the CT volume. This establishes a 2D basis with the X-ray image and we can use the DRR along with the input X-ray as inputs to the neural network to predict the 3D transformation of the CT volume such that when the CT volume is projected over the X-ray image, the overlay error is minimized. When we have access to pad annotated datasets to train supervised uh, registration networks, they achieve state-of-the-art results. However, it is not trivial to always obtain such pad annotated datasets for different clinical use cases and interventions. To circumvent the need for pad annotated datasets, we could use CT volumes and generate simulated X-ray projections from the CT volumes using virtual cameras. The relative transformation between the virtual cameras gives us ground truth registration and now this allows us to train the registration network without requiring any pad datasets by simply replacing the X-ray image with the simulated X-ray projections. We perform this domain randomization step to improve the usability of our simulated train registration network on real X-ray images. However, we observe that such a network, even after domain randomization, works really well on simulated domain but fails significantly on the real X-ray images. To achieve better results on the real X-ray images, we perform feature space domain adaptation. We propose a novel feature space domain adaptation which includes our registration network and we use the adversarial feature encoder where we try to minimize the adversarial feature loss between the different input X-ray styles which have no pairing with CT volumes and the fixed DRR styles which is used to train the registration network. In addition, we use the parallel twins to style augment the DRRs and learn a style invariant representation. This allows the feature encoder to be really invariant to different input styles of the images that are encountered during application. We see a 6% improvement in success rate with our feature space domain adaptation technique. We also use pixel space domain adaptation to improve the performance of our simulated registration network by transferring from the target domain to the source domain using an image translation network, which is trained using contrast to one path translation. This improves our performance by 20% on real X-ray images. Finally, we combine our pixel space and feature space domain adaptation technique and we achieve a 24% improvement over our baseline annotation free scenario. We also closely match to the supervised scenario and improve our registration error as well. The qualitative results here clearly demonstrate that we closely match to the supervised scenario while significantly outperforming the unreference annotation free scenarios. To summarize, we are annotation free technique, we enable large scale training and we improve the success rate by 24%. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact us here and you can refer the paper here.